Hello, welcome back to Bando Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I will be looking into a Boolean experiment once again. Um, and uh, I'll be using Spreadshock add-on as well on top of that. And the other day, I was talking about Boolean with rounded box nodes. And today, I'll be just using a cylinder uh, node. Uh, so yeah, just let's get started. Um, so uh, before I started, uh, the one that's become my inspiration is this uh, speed flow workflow by Pity Wazo. Um, this is actually a really really good way of modeling if you like to think of it this way. I really like this kind of modeling and normally I, I used to do this um, back then using Maya because it's more procedural and a lot of this boolean happening uh, kind of like step by step and then so I think we can do similar thing uh, using Blender. Um, in in the object level so I'll, I'll try to do it this way but uh, this is also a really good way to do it I'm still studying the whole thing um, so yeah let's go to compositing and like I said I'm kind of making all the elements using spreadshock add-on so I'm gonna save it as cylinder boolean so we start with a cylinder and I'm just gonna create a real object right away. So not preview. So again, this is just a normal cylinder. We can get rid of the cap. And this cylinder, if you ever want to change the the directions, uh, supposedly the nodes have a way to change that, but a uh, vectory wire can do that. So if by default it's going from Z axis to Z, you can change it to Y or X. That's pretty easy. Um, and if you want to center it, uh, you can do that as well. In order to center it, uh, it's a little bit funny, but you need to use vector drop and use the matrix. Yeah, that's kind of centering the cylinder. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just continue with this. So cylinder, you can control the radius top, radius bottom. Uh, the height subdivisions subdivision you need to see the wire you can change the vertices number so it's all good uh, I can save here so that's the that's the main element and we just need to kind of modify this first of all we might want to solidify this first before we do any kind of boolean so this is what I, this is the easiest. You just add a thickness using solidify inside Spreadshop. And then on top of this, we want to create another cylinder. And we're gonna use viewer B mesh. Oops, viewer B mesh. So this is, uh, this is better. I will show the outliner. This is the way I'm usually, I will usually work. And this one become our boolean cutter. So with this, uh, if you want to factor drop it, once again, uh, you want to might want to use this. So now it's centered. Once it is centered, you can kind of move it. And in the in the y axis, and then make it smaller for boolean if you like. And the next step is really just a uh, kind of using boolean in here. So boolean, and instead of instead of intersect, that's the default. Just use a uh, difference. And this guy now can be just a uh, kind of ghosted as a wire. So that's actually the basic idea. And the nice thing about this kind of setup is that uh, you can always change it. You can change a lot of things and it's just gonna kind of kind of create the result for you so you can always like duplicate and then apply and then you get the result so yeah pretty basic but then again you can do things like if you use like line and this line is growing in the in the x-axis so let's see what what happen if we just plug this in 
to that guy so we have a, a bunch of cylinder but they are not they are not a single object but still seem to be cutting through maybe I'm wrong um, the better better way is to use apply matrix apply and then with this guy just do it like that now it's gonna be a single object and it's gonna be called beta and now it's really cutting it so you can see the boolean works really like perfectly on this and it's quite interactive as well you can center it you can play with the stepping you can add or reduce the number if you want to match the number of division for example right so this is, looks good it looks like a like a flute for example if you're making a flute this is kind of pretty good or making like a pipe um, what else can you do on top of this of course you can also perhaps have another cylinder that kind of being duplicated in between um, all this um, of course you can always uh, for example change the the radius if you like like so so it's kind of making a flute really and uh maybe we want to also add uh, some details so make another division so instead of extruding and thinking how to extrude it we're just gonna use boolean okay so save i save a lot uh, if you notice um so cylinder one two three four five i'll I'll duplicate this and then s but name it differently so the next one is gamma and gamma will maybe with this guy we just gonna make it a little bit bigger but it's also less in height something like that yeah at this point if you are a bit clever with the sphere chalk you can also you can actually make a some kind of division exactly where the, the cut is you can make uh, you can make the, the division but I will just use uh, my just kind of figure it out by eyes so apply matrix once again this and this and the matrix all right so one two how many so one two three four five six just guess it i guess that's kind of all right so we can still have the hole but we also have this uh, details and this is a single object file save as and you can use another boolean to the main to the main guy here boolean with gamma and just a uh, union so this become kind of a single entity and we can keep making adjustment maybe this radius is not correct it's really up to you how you want to make it looks kind of all right it's kind of merging nicely it's not not too small not too big either but uh, sometimes you actually want this if you are like maybe you are a ninja turtle and you are inside the uh, underground new york underground so you can make something like that actually that's not too bad that's not bad i like it like that and the solidify can also increase so you have the details inside and the outside so it's a uh, Ninja Turtles or Super Mario Bros inside the pipe so you, you, you have this and then you can also now you, you can see a lot of uh, design problem um, can be solved um, this is like a, a little bit more like parametric or maybe procedural I think maybe both uh, maybe you also want a little bit of details there um, but everything is all um, procedural cylinder oh, maybe can tidy up a little bit so it's all uh, how many cylinder we have uh, 
so you can even like cut it through if you like yeah again it's kind of like a boolean magic um, if you like if you're happy with what you have just duplicate it and then apply and then apply so you're gonna get this so that's the basic idea uh, really it's also it's a good idea to read what PT Wazu is doing here there's a um, there's a note about boolean somewhere but uh, there's a lot more but it's really cool really cool what he's doing I really like it and okay speed flow is $15 but uh, you can start from this guy spread chop is actually should be like 30 or 50 dollars for the, this add-on is it can do a lot um, but anyway that's pretty much the basic idea hopefully you like uh, this uh, video let me know if it's useful for you and I'll see you next time thank you bye